A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 5 verses 17 to 26. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus when Jesus saw their faith he said as for you your sins are forgiven then the scribes and pharisees began to ask themselves who is this who speaks blasphemies who but god alone can forgive sins jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply what are you thinking in your hearts which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say rise and walk but that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins he said to the one who was paralyzed i say to you rise pick up your stretcher and go home he stood up immediately before them picked up what he had been laying on and went home glorifying god then astonishment seized them all and they glorified god and struck with awe they said we have seen incredible things today the gospel of the lord good morning dear brothers and sisters today is the ninth day of advent the special grace we ask to jesus today is to bring people to the mercy of jesus One sister who went for her holidays and she found her relatives and friends practicing witchcraft. These people have not come to the knowledge of Jesus, so they went on living their life depending on the witchcrafts. She called me and said, "Father, I will take these people to you because I know your prayer can change them." The ignorance about the person of Jesus often leaves people to live a sinful life. Today's gospel passage we have heard how Jesus healed a paralytic man. Jesus not only brought healing in the physical realm but also healing in the spiritual realm and in the heart and soul as well. Jesus came to bring us the abundant life of God's kingdom. Any sickness was considered as the result of past sin. Sin is the work of the kingdom of darkness and it holds us in eternal bondage. There is only one solution and that is the healing, cleansing power of Jesus forgiveness. Jesus treatment of sinners upset the religious teachers of the day. When the cripple was brought to Jesus because of the faith of his friends, Jesus did the unthinkable. Jesus admired the faith of those people who carried the man to the presence of Jesus. The unthinkable can happen when we have taken extra effort to prove our faith. Every one of us are called to take people to Jesus. The healing of paralytic man happened because he was brought to the presence of Jesus. Every one of us are called to bring people to the mercy of Jesus. The healing process begins with the mind and then proceeds to the body. Jesus wanted to free the paralytic man from his understanding of sin and suffering. He first forgave the man's of his own sins. The scribes regarded this as blasphemy because they understood that only God had the authority to forgive sins and to unbind a man or woman from their burden of guilt. Jesus claimed an authority which only God could rightfully give. Jesus not only proved that his authority came from God, he showed the great power of God's redeeming love and mercy by healing the cripple of his physical ailment. This man had been crippled not only physically but spiritually as well. Jesus freed him from his burden of guilt and restored his body as well. The Lord Jesus is ever ready to bring us healing of body, mind and soul. His grace brings us freedom from the power of sin and from bondage to harmful desires and addictions. Do you allow anything to keep you from Jesus healing power? And I pray may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.